Okay, electronic circuits can basically divide it into two categories, the first of which is analog, which are continuous values, and digital, which are discrete sets of values. Example of an analog signal is basically something like temperature over the course of the day. Um, something like wind speed, um, sound intensity, anything that varies continuously. Um, if we were to draw a graph of an analog signal, it's just the temperature example, where this is the time axis, this is the temperature axis, degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit, doesn't matter. But you know, it starts out in the morning, it's a little cool, and slowly rises to a peak in the day, and then starts cooling off at the end of the day. That's basically a very smooth, continuous curve. Um, now, if we took uh, for the digital uh, portion of this here, basically if we uh, sampled that same temperature over the course of the day, what you do is you, uh, this temperature here at such and such a time, this temperature here at such and such a time, and it goes on. You know, basically we've taken a sample of the, of the temperature at every hour we've converted an analog signal into something that can be digitized by representing each sampled value with the digital code. So we're going to talk about some of the so let's talk about some of the advantages of digital versus uh, analog. So this is the digital advantage. Kind of four basic ones is one, it's easier to process. Two, you can transmit it more reliably. Three, it's easier to store. And four, it can be reproduced. accuracy. And clarity. Because you know, basically the reason why this is true is because noise doesn't affect the digital data as much as analog data. So what is noise? Basically unwanted, in this case voltage. So basically, the reason why is because noise, you know, basically does not affect digital data as much as analog. Okay, so you know, an example of this here, you know, way back when, if you wanted music, you had to have your saxophone with you. And there's music. And you had to carry it with you wherever you went to. So now, what they invented was this record, which was really was, um, you know, basically pressed wax and these plastic uh, discs. Then that went down to the compact disc, which looks like a little, little record, a little shiny record. And then what you've done is compressed it even further in this day and age to the iPod. Some of you probably were in a class right now. So basically, that's what it's showing is basically it's easier to process, transmit more reliably, easier to store, reproduce with greater accuracy and clarity. Also, 